I was going to post this to relationships, but I couldn't work up the nerve. I cheated on my husband with my friend's husband. I feel like I should tell her, but I'm scared she'll hurt herself. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. I was going to post this to relationships, but I couldn't work up the nerve. I cheated on my husband with my friend's husband. I feel like I should tell her, but I'm scared she'll hurt herself. I'm a pretty regular poster, but I'm so embarrassed and ashamed about this I had to create a throwaway. Sorry, ladies. A little about us. My husband, Adam, and I have been married for six years now. Together for a long time. We have a great relationship, no dead bedroom, and rare a lot better than most couples with our communication. We also have two awesome as fuck kids. A couple of years ago, we were approached by two of my friends, Anna and Connor, who were also married for years, about having a foursome. It seemed great to all of us at first, but after a while, the subject fizzled. Anna and I decided to have girls only party and get drunk because I had not done it in so long. We both ended up getting too drunk. I do not remember very much of that night. She was uh, violently sick and I did my best to be there with her. After a bit, Connor finally came home to take over. It's all pretty spotty. He brought up the foursome, kissed me, and we made out for a while. I might have given him a blowjob. I want to emphasize that I barely fucking remember any of this. But I remember enough that I'm horrified with myself over what happened. I don't know if it is important, but he was 100% sober. The next day, I was tying from a hangover and couldn't believe what I had done. I called my husband at work, not a smart move, and told him that I was so sorry something happened. I made out with Connor and probably gave him a blowjob. Didn't know what to do. I wasn't handling it well. I cried all day. My poly friend comforted me over the phone until he came home and we talked. He was surprisingly okay. I promised it would obviously never happen again. I would never hang out with him anymore and if he wanted to ever look through my messages, he was absolutely allowed. We've actually been really good after talking a lot about it for a while. Now it's come to light that Connor wants to leave Anna and she is not okay. He has told her he does not love her anymore, is unwilling to do couples counseling, but is leading her on by telling her she still has a chance and is willing to work on things. She has suspected him of cheating for a little while and I don't know what to do for her. It seems like any time she has come close to catching him, he gaslights her until she doubts her own sanity. Connor has been spending all of his time with a female co-worker and has even been staying with her for the past couple of nights but Anna doesn't believe he is cheating. She's confided in me a lot about this and I feel like I should tell her but I'm scared of how she will react. If I lose her as a friend, honestly I'm not okay with it. But I understand that it's a natural consequence because of what happened. I'm concerned she will hurt herself.